Hello, welcome to a new video. So today I'm gonna get sewing again, which is really exciting. It's been a little while and I'm, I'm really, uh, can't wait actually. It's been a bit tricky. I've done loads of like moving things around in this room. My art desk has just been pushed there and it's sort of abandoned <laughs> almost in the middle of the room. But yeah, I'm excited because I'm making clothes for Glastonbury Festival, so probably this is going to go out of order because I know I've still got my second Cotswold trip to edit, I haven't even started that yet and Glastonbury is next week. Chances are I'll be getting the Glastonbury videos up first so this won't be quite in chronological order. I'm hoping to do more than one but we'll see how we go. I've sort of put my art course that I'm taking on hold this month. Yeah, I'm, there's no way I'm gonna get through it this time. Let's just get on with it. For the first one, I'm beginning with this tunic. It's like a tunic dress. I absolutely love the color. It's just this beautiful, quite luxurious looking velvet. Um, I think it almost looks vintage looking, but it is very modern. And I'm taking a risk with this one because if the weather stays as hot as it is, at the moment then I probably won't be wearing this because this is not in any way breathable so I'm sort of doing this one first um, so if I make any mistakes then I'll learn from them for the one for the next one so we'll see if I wear it or not by now you'll you might know <laughs> if you watch the glass and videos so yeah this is what I'm starting with it fits and I like it but sorry about the traffic noise that is the Glastonbury festival traffic because there's so many deliveries happening at the site at the moment and my window is open because I need that breeze I need that breeze in here it's just not in a shape that I like wearing I'm gonna use the top half and add a nice full skirt so it's been a while since I've done a sewing video I hope you enjoy watching so I'll be going through my pink scrap box which is under here and seeing what colours will go. Already I'm seeing this one probably well. It's quite a bluish pink. Yeah that does go nicely. So I've got to be careful not to find the warm peachy pinks. What else? I've also got, there's that nice, that satin goes really well but I don't know if I want to wear satin at the festival. That might be a bit too delicate. Oh, oh. Does that, yeah, a bit bobbly. And you know what, this would go as well, all this cotton gauze that I dyed. So I don't know if I'm gonna use these because they are a little bit on the bobbly side. And also when I, as I'm opening them and unfolding them, I'm realizing they're also quite thin and quite see-through. But these, <laughs> these are that lovely warm brushed cotton and these were my cot sheets when I was a baby. My mum gave them to me when I had rain 27 years ago and um, I dyed them this colour. So I might reuse these. I've got, how many have I got? Maybe two or three of these. I also might use this, which um, I'm not sure about yet. Well, you know my process is very much, let's see how it goes. So I've got this dyed again I've dyed this cotton gauze I've obviously used it for a fairy effect before because I've already got some sort of petal shapes cut out of this piece and yeah we've got quite a nice other large bit so I might also use this we'll see yeah we'll see how we go and it probably will be a fairy dress you know it's a festival and you know me it it'll most likely be a fairy type dress <laughs>
So I've got lots to catch you up on in this video. It took so long to edit the Cotswolds videos and then it was Glastonbury Festival so, so we had those sort of special videos and that took a little while and then after Glastonbury me and Chris caught Covid and uh, Rain and Jude got something else, they got some other sort of bug. So we were a little bit poorly and then we went on holiday <laughs> just for three nights in Cornwall together which was lovely but I will show you that in a couple of weeks because for now I do have to catch up on those other clips. So things are going to be a little bit out of order um, but we have sewing the fairy dress that I wore to Glastonbury Festival. We've got some mixed media art and a little bit of gardening and other various little clips I expect including this one of me packing up a beach cover-up from the threads of a fairy tale shop. There are only a couple of these left so if you want one for summer now is the time to have a look because I don't intend on making more of these actually so yeah nab one while you can <laughs> if you're interested I'll put the link below So the dress is taking shape nicely and I decided to put some of the cotton gauze over the top of the uh, cot sheets. <laughs> That's giving it a bit more length at the front which I'd be a bit more comfortable with, giving it a bit more fairy petal shapes in the skirt. We can still see the bobbly fabric here. It is what it is but I think it's fine. And this is going to be a festival dress. This isn't what I'm going to be wearing to a wedding or anything. This extra fabric also makes it a bit less see-through. And then at the edges where there isn't another layer, it's there's more gathers. So it'll be less see-through there anyway. So I've just done four little pe extra petals on each side and at the back. And my next step is I'm going to take down the stitches of this sleeve. I'm not keen on it. Oh, I'm sorry about the traffic noise. I've got to have the window open, I'm afraid. And I'm also going to convert this into a v-neck and look for some lace and probably some tatters to decorate it. And then, actually, <laughs> I'm, I think I might use some of the, the rest of the fabric from the tunic to do like a little fr some frills around the bottom edge, around the hem. Just maybe here and there, I don't think there's going to be enough to go all the way around, but I think that will sort of tie the top part to the bottom part a bit better.
it was during the spell of the beautiful hot weather as you can tell by my cardigan that is now over but uh, we had some lovely a, a lovely run of warm weather and Jude and I went to the local town summer fair which is really lovely well I bet there's rich folks from a fancy tiny car six cigars and I know I can't be free <laughs> And I managed to pick up these grasses which were to plant in the front sort of section of our garden. Right, I have to talk very quickly between cars going past because it gets so loud here. Um, so I don't know if you remember this area if you were watching my vlogs last year, but uh, this is where we cleared up all the, um, well it was all green prickly shrubs, it weren't very nice really. Um, and it was getting way overgrown, it grew all the way up the bit there and it basically came all the way out to about here and right the way over the driveway it was we well, can kind of see this white line here that's how far it all came out so we did quite a lot of work last year this year has been a battle of the weeds I have weeded this bit so many times I've now sprinkled wildflower seeds all over it and then yesterday I was at the local town fair and picked up these grasses and I, I had looked at grasses before for this patch because I think they're nice you know not difficult to maintain and it would look quite nice flowing in the breeze of the lorries going past so I think this is valerian I don't mind that there's wild forget-me-not I don't mind that not so keen on this one I don't know what it's called but it comes out it's got little pink flowers which is not too bad so I think the plan is just to try and disguise the weeds amongst other flowers and plants I have no idea what sort of grasses these are but they were more than half the price of the ones in the garden centre so I would just say brilliant garden is looking particularly lovely at the moment we've had this run of hot weather and we've, I've just been spending every minute I can outside grass has gone dead though but it's a good time of year the geraniums are coming out look at these over here we've got a peony coming out at last the other bush that I've got which is like three times the size of this one all the buds have been eating, eaten by the slugs and snails and um, I'm absolutely gutted. Over here is looking lovely, I just adore roses, apart from this one, which I don't like. I need to uh, dig that up and put it somewhere else, but the, the rock rose cistus is looking good. But yeah, the pink, the pink rose is coming out, it's just beautiful. This one smells amazing, I could just drink in that scent all day long. The, the rose bushes that I planted years ago have gone right up to the top of the hedge up there, which is amazing. Still haven't properly trained it over the archway, archway is still there for the minute, doing all right. And this rose is just smells beautiful as well, and loads of flowers on it this year. So while we're on the subject of flowers, <laughs> I thought it would be a good time to share my painting I did. It was actually a couple of months ago now, I think, um, for a competition with the title Flower Power. And this was the painting that I came up with. And the picture I used was one from a Threads of a Fairy Tale photo shoot from a couple of years ago. I actually struggled a bit though with this painting because I tried, I had some sort of vision in my head of some large abstract flowers and in and out of focus amongst the picture I had of rain holding the hydrangea flower so I looked at hydrangeas and and sort of tried to incorporate them into a into a bigger piece and I, and I did struggle with that <laughs> I really did I'm not very good at conjuring up something in my imagination and holding it there I just sort of have a vague idea but I don't see things clearly so that does make things difficult when it comes to art
It's a bit of a shame these two pinks kind of clash because this geranium, I bought this for 20p, a tiny little pot at the same place I got those grasses from at the Collet Park Fair Day years ago, about 10 years, well probably longer, about 15 years ago. And this is the size of it now <laughs> and it looks amazing. But the colours, I'm not sure about the colours with the, the rose, that looks amazing too. So this video that I'm filming right now, you're probably not going to see until after the festival. But let me zoom in. Right now it's currently getting ready over there. I haven't done a garden update for a little while, so yeah, there we are. Yeah, like I said, I've just been out here all the time, as much as I can, sitting in my little swingy egg chair there. Today was the first day we had a little bit of rain about two and a half weeks and it's due to rain again tonight so I thought it was a good time to plant yeah it's actually a little bit gray and the honeysuckle smells divine at this time of the evening So here we are, here's the finished dress. I'm really pleased with it. In the end, I decided not to use the leftover velvet. I was gonna cut it into little strips and make a ruffle around some of the bottom, but actually it's a good size <laughs> for another top. And I really like this velvet. I think it's a gorgeous color. So I'm gonna just make myself another, another top half of a dress with it and maybe do one that's more purple or originally actually I picked out some sort of gold coloured silks from my Indian stash but in the end I thought they didn't weren't quite right that was too warm that was too cool but here we are here's the perfect colour this is the this was the dress I made with that duvet look they look lovely together so I want to try and find some more of this sort of champagne colour Anyway, last touches were the antique and vintage uh, laces around the neckline and um, I used a little button to hitch up. I just wasn't quite happy with the way the sleeves were hanging on my arms. Just didn't, it just looked too sort of twee and girlish and then I just lifted it up a, a little. I thought actually that somehow just made it look a bit better. <laughs> I don't know, it just wasn't quite right. So I hitched up the arm and put a little button in there and the same on the other side obviously and there we are quite simple and straightforward really this one but it is quite a flattering shape on me so I think I might just make myself a load of similar dresses I will have worn this at Glastonbury Festival and if you like this sort of style don't forget to look at threadsofafairytale.com where hopefully you can find something that takes your fancy so that's it for this week. I am going to try it once I've caught up. I think next week's going to be another one of catching up. And then we've got the holiday. <laughs> and then I'm going to try going back to sort of the weekly vlog format that I used to do, uh, where I'm actually sort of on top of my videos and a bit more up to date. But we'll see how it goes. It can be a bit stressful doing that. I'm quite inspired with YouTube at the moment. I've got so many ideas, but just not enough time to bring bring the videos to life which is a shame but anyway I hope you enjoyed this one if you did please give this video a thumbs up I really appreciate it I would love that you spend your time with me thank you so much if you made it this far through the video write the words flower power in the comments <laughs> and thank you so much take care and I'll see you again next time bye